again everybody for the second time today I've come back up to do another review and this is basically just a quick one it's I'm going to be testing out a video edit, a video editor um, Kevin Smith were kind enough earlier on to uh, give me some advice and sort of um, you know help me learn how to use the actual, I'm, I'm no good with technical things, so I'm just going to get on with this. I'll do it as quick as I can, and then uh, we'll see how it turns out at the, in the end. Uh, chili I'm going to be reviewing is not super hot. Uh, it comes from Terry at Kerno Chili Farm. So thanks for sending me my last box. I'll be moving on to yours shortly. Um, and this is a bishop's cap. Uh, it's a very, very strange looking pepper that, isn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of? If you've all seen the film Alien and there's those little spider type things that jump and stick to your face. Almost looks like one of those, doesn't it? But you can see where it gets the term the the, the name Bishop's Cap from. So I'm gonna cut cut into it and uh cut into it and see what we've got. I think it said this was a capsicum bacatum, is that what it said? Uh, it's quite fruity smelling. Lots and lots of seeds inside and there's a little bit of placenta there as well. So yeah. Actually it smells really fruity. Just gonna flick a couple of seeds out because it's absolutely packed with them. Can't do another super hot, I'm afraid, because I've already done one today and I don't really fancy causing myself some damage. <coughs> I just flicked a couple of seeds and look how many came out. Plate's absolutely covered. So, here we have it. This is the Bishop's Cap. Comes from Terry at Kernow Chili Farm. So, Thank you, Terry. Mmm. Bloody gorgeous. Makes such a lovely change to some of these perfumey super hots. Um, lovely, lovely texture, really crunchy and fresh. Taste wise it was like, I don't know for some reason to me it tasted like a green bell pepper. Had that sort of bell pepper fruity sweet taste it was. Mm. Highly recommend that one. I would definitely use that in cooking. The heat is next to nothing, so um, when you, if you're cooking food for the missus, and if your missus is like mine and she's not keen on very very hot food, then you know it'd be a perfect one to use. Easy, manageable burn. Uh, it's really just. It's a good spread all over the mouth and even just slightly in the throat as well, but it's a very, very comfortable burn. Um, Taste-wise, that's up there with the yellow scorpion to me and the turbo pube. Well, they're not super hot, but you'll generally find that 
they're in different categories, categories to me they're like different um, they're almost like a different food entirely so you've got the super hots and then you've got these that are sort of medium to low and these are all sweet and fruity and they'll always have a much more pleasant flavour than your floral super hots obviously my favourite super hots are Nagla at the minute I think that's had the best flavour out of all super hots that I've eaten. And yeah, this is easily there with, in the medium ones with the turbo pube. Lovely, fruity, crisp. Could eat another one, to be honest with you. But yeah, quick review. I'm going to see if I can mess about with the video editor. Um, and yeah, I'll be back with a super hot tomorrow night. Maybe the uh, Black Naga, Nick. What do you think? Sure, I'll get an answer later on. Um, yeah, it'll be good until yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow.